In today's adventure, we take the E-Flight T28 Trojan 1.1 meter out for its maiden flight. And see if it's the perfect first warbird coming up. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe. And I'm Amber. We're the Aussie Kiwis. Kiwis. On this channel, we do everything from bashing, crawling, speed runs, our box reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. Now the Trojan T28, the real plane, was used as a trainer in the United States Air Force. And that's quite fitting because we're going to be using the T28 RC plane as a trainer for us. And there are some features that this plane has that makes it the perfect trainer. And we'll get to those features in a second. But first, Let's get this plane out of the box. This is such a nice looking plane. I love how vibrant and such a bright yellow color it is. I think they've gone into some really cool detail with the wee pilot here sitting in the cockpit and Joe's actually put a wee hole in here to fit the onboard camera, which you will see very soon. Uh, I really can't wait to fly this thing, but for now I'm gonna practice on the simulator. Just give me a couple of weeks and I'll have this thing in the sky for my maiden flight on it. But today Joe's going to be taking it out for its maiden flight. And I am super excited to take this RC out for it. It's, it's fun, the little planes are fun. This is a step up, still a little plane. Don't worry, we're gonna get bigger and bigger as we go, but this should be a perfect first warbird for us. Although it's not really my first warbird, but we'll consider this to be my first ever warbird. Now, we didn't film the build. The build, was, the build was very straightforward. It took about 20 minutes. The instruction manual is a very nice, easy to read instruction manual. And we've got the bind and fly version. It does come with the receiver and the safe technology, which we'll talk about in a second. And for the radio, I'm using the DX6 Spectrum radio. Uh, hopefully in the future we might upgrade to an NX-8, but for now the DX-6 is what we're using. Now looking around the body of this aircraft, I love, like Amber said, that yellow, vibrant colour. The good thing about this, it does serve a purpose. For us beginners, when this RC gets up in the sky and it turns into a little dot, a little speck, it can be very easy and very easy quickly lose your orientation of the plane and once you get disorientated it's almost game over some of these planes. So being a nice vibrant yellow colour that will help with your orientation when it's in the sky. This plane also has nice straight wings and a lot of camber there which is going to help with its slow flight characteristics. This aircraft comes equipped with ailerons for roll, elevator for pitch and rudder for yaw. It does not come with flat. And in the manual, you can set it up with the low rates and high rates. Now what that basically means is low rates, if you give it full deflection on your controls, uh, you're only gonna get a certain amount of deflection on your control surface. Whereas if you go to high rates, it's gonna give you more deflection on your control surfaces, which means the aircraft's gonna be a bit more sensitive and a bit more capable. Today we'll fly it on both low rates and on high rates. Looking at the undercarriage, it's fixed, very simple. They clip into place with the front wheel being screwed into place and you do have a steerable nose wheel. Of course, the real thing does have retracts and in the future we may get a bigger one that does come retracts, but this one, is fixed landing gear. The wheels are foam and they move freely quite easily. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's look under this canopy and see what comes in the flight. The cockpit is held in place by a magnet and it has a clear tab here to help bring it up easy. And looking at the electrics, it comes with a 30 amp ESC, a brushless outrunner motor that's attached to your propeller blade and you get a spare blade in the box, which I think is really good because it's one of the first things that I broke in my older planes was the propeller blade, so it's great that it comes with a second one installed. It's also up to 4S cable at 2200 milliamps. We're gonna be running the three cell today, 2200 uh, milliamp Turnergy batteries. We got the Bind and Fly version, which comes with the Spectrum AR631 receiver, which has gyro and accelerometer technology inside, and the AS3X and the Safe Select uses that technology. Now, the AS3, AS3X, AS3X, I forget it, we're still new to the safe technologies, bear in mind, we're still new to it. But the AS3X helps with the flight stabilization. So if the plane's flying along and it's, it's disturbed by an external factor, like wind, turbulence, and it rolls or it pitches or yaws, the flight controls will move in such a way to correct for that wind and keep the aircraft flying nice and level as you're controlling it. It's good for him and it's good for me and it's good for anyone. It's gonna make the plane fly nice and smoothly. Now, the other technology, which is the safe select technology, 
This actually creates a safe flight envelope around your plane. It won't allow you to go beyond certain bank limits, pitch limits, for example, I believe it is set up at 45 degrees bank limit, so you can't go beyond 45 degrees, and then there are pitch limits as well. That's so good for me. Great for Amber, great for me, great for anybody. It also means you're not going to be able to do aerobatics with safe select enabled, but the good thing is, if you want to do some aeros, you can disable safe select straight from your uh, transmitter if you've got it set up properly, and to set up your safe select in AS3X, whether you want it enabled or disabled, you find out all the information in the uh, manual when you're binding up this aircraft. Anyway, Amber, it is enough talking, it's time to take this plane to the park for its maiden flight. Here we are on location with the beautiful T28 1.1 meter wingspan. There's a little one we just did some flying with, it was a lot of fun. Amber did pretty well, I was pretty impressed for your very first ever flight, and I've got to say, I am nervous. <laughs> It's been a while, Amber, it's been a minute since I flew something like this. But I got a good open space, only a few obstacles about. We want to hear the sounds, the noises of this aircraft flying through the air, and that propeller blade chopping through the air. Oh, hopefully, hopefully no sounds are crashing. But Amber, let's get these batteries on, because I'm just dying to get this plane in the air. If you guys are wondering, this is how you get the point of view shots. I've got the uh, Insta360 GO 2 mounted in there on the mount that it comes with. I just put a hole in the um, cockpit there and then it's just come through and I've just taped it on the back there. So it should stay in there, hopefully. <laughs> stay in there nice and steady. And hopefully it doesn't put off the center of gravity by too much. This, this uh, camera is extremely light, so I'm sure we'll have no issues with the center of gravity. So throttle cut is on and we've got safe on. Now we're gonna go, and I've got it on the low rates first of all, and then I might go to high rates later. The remote on first, plug the battery in. And you should see the dance. Look at the controls. That's one. And a second dance, that second dance tells us that the aircraft is in safe mode, which means when I roll upside down, well, I shouldn't be able to roll upside down. The plane's <laughs> never gonna let itself roll upside down. Oh, I'm excited, Amber. I'm oh, nervous. I'm so excited. It's been a while since I flew a plane. So I don't wanna put you under any pressure or anything, but there's a expensive camera in there. Quick pre-flight check, left, aler left aileron goes up, right aileron goes down, it's got a bank left. The right, right aileron goes up, left aileron goes down. Pitching those up, the elevator should go up, and it did. Pitching those down, the elevator goes down, and it did. Rudder, left, aircraft yours left, aircraft's going to your right. Okay, flight controls look good. We're in low rate, so we're going to taxi around. Oh, my gosh. I think you're stuck, aren't you? We're taxiing, we'll see what it's like from there. Okay, I'm gonna string over there. <laughs> yeah, <we> <laughs> this is cool. This, is, this grass is quite bumpy, man. We're going it's left. Like Hong Kong runway at the airport. We're going right. Okay, nose wheel's working good. We're gonna get ourselves onto the runway and then taxi down here. Give us a bit of cockpit talk. Oh no! <laughs> 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 what? We're not even off the ground yet. Oh no. Okay, I'm just, uh, just testing its uh, suspension. Okay. So what, what's this runway called? What are we going to name it? This is called, uh, where, where are we? What um, park is this? Canterbury Park. Canterbury Park. Canterbury, Canterbury Runway. Oh, I'm scared actually. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, it's facing us. Why is yeah, it facing yeah, yeah. us? As it lifts off into the air, it's going to be beautiful. Are you ready? Um, yes, I'm ready. Okay, elevator. Are you ready? Big pressure on the stack. Ready? Are you? Yes, Take I'm off. ready. Holy moly. Whoa! And there we Whoa. are! Holy moly. Whoa! And there we Whoa. are! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, that got up easy, This man. is huge! Easy. Oh man, look how good this plane looks! Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, so nice. Okay, it's got a like, need some nose down trim. Okay, we coming back around. Joe, did you want me to zoom or just Yeah, zoom. Yeah, yeah, they want to see it. Cuz I don't want to lose it. I'm going to come down between us. I love Definitely how need some nose down. Between us. Oh, oh, maybe not between us. Yeah. Oh, it's kind this of over is here to not us. Not focusing very well because of the clouds. That's all right. We'll, we'll get some shots in there. Okay, coming back around, I'm coming around the left. To the left hand circle here. So we are in safe, so I shouldn't be able to roll upside down. See, that's full, that's maximum bank. Maximum bank angle right there, maximum bank angle. And we're going to come over here, nice and slow, look at that. So we did have a crosswind from right to left during takeoff. 
Um, oh man, this, this thing flies nice. I need definitely some nose down trim. I uh, know I'm very far away, guys, so I'm gonna bring it as close now. Don't worry. We've got that point of view camera on there, but it's gonna get nice angles there. No. Look at that. Oh my flies gosh, so nicely. You're so, good at it. so slow as well. I'm flying so slow. No bird strike. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> Oh, I left a little bit late there. Okay, come back around. Oh, don't go over that lake. Bad idea. Yeah, come back around. We don't want to go over that lake. One minute left. What? Oh my what? Already? Already? Are you serious? Oh. I got to push it to seven. Oh, are you sure? I need to get some practice in though. Uh, we're on low race this whole time. I'm going to go high race now. See what kind of difference I notice. Okay, bring, I'm going to bring it to my left hand side, nice and low. Excuse me when you say nice and low. <laughs> That's a bit of a tail on there. And that's so cool. That's cool, eh? I haven't done anything dangerous yet, have I, Amber? Uh, I hope you're not going to either. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should land on the grass. I don't know if I can get this lined up good. I'm going to try. I'm going to try for a... Definitely needs more nose down. I need to sort that out. Okay. I'm going to come around. I'm going to do... I'm going to try and do a... Uh, Maybe a landing or a touch and go, we'll see. <laughs> or just a or just a flyby. Well, one of the three. Okay, so we're gonna Hopefully do this on crash. the grass or the No, on the runway. On the runway. On the runway. I might go the opposite side then. In front of a bush. Here we go. Um maybe not. Oh Whoa. beautiful! So okay, Amber, I'm too scared to go on the runway, I think. Oh, careful at the golf post. Oh my, I had no idea if I was going to hit it or not. That was just luck. <laughs> okay, we'll come back around this time for the landing. Oh, careful at the light post. Oh no, Amber, I'm losing it. What? I'm losing my confidence now. No, don't. And oh, don't I careful at the dog, there's a dog behind us. Is, there, is it on the runway? Uh, no, it's coming okay, at get, me. Get, get no. Nice. no. Ready, ready, ready. Now, nah, get no. it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, no way. Oh my God, I mean, I just, oh, that was so good. Oh, no oh. way. Oh my God, just, oh, that was so <laughs> 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 Yes. It's the first ever you landing. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. Oh, that was epic. Did the landing? You got it, yeah, I did. Oh, man. We're definitely going to switch the battery out and go again. <laughs> There we go. Taxing it down. Give myself a nice long runway. There we go, and we're up. And we're away. <laughs> Gonna come between us, Amber. There we go. I might chuck it out of safe soon and see what I got. See if I can do some heroes. Are you heroes sure you want to do that? Oh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> we are still in safe. Gonna come back for another low pass right between us. Whoa, you mean right at me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I got this thing under control. <laughs> Man, that looks so cool with the clouds. I'm barely going full throttle. I think I'm mostly touching 50, between 50 and 70%. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. It flies so nicely, man. I could do this all day long. It flies so nicely, it flies so easily. All right, let's get some altitude. We're gonna perform something. Don't know what yet. We're gonna chuck it out. We're out of safe now. We're gonna do oh. something here. Wow, there we go. Oh, he The first loop, yes. <laughs> Coming back around. Oh, it's so much more fun out of safe. Much more dangerous, though. There we go. Woo. <laughs> right. We're gonna go for a fast pass this time, right over the runway. There we go. That was nearly full throttle. I did chicken out a little bit there. We'll try that again. There we go. That's just awesome. <laughs> that is just awesome. There's no need for music in these videos, Amber. I just want to hear the sound. It cool too. It's actually quite a quiet play and my Spitfire is a lot louder. 
right, we're gonna come in for a couple of practice approaches now. We're still in high rate and out of safe. Maybe I should go back into safe, let's see. I think you should. Are you coming well, for the approach. runway or the grass? <laughs> just a little bit high, just a little bit high. <laughs> just a bit. Oh, oh my god. Yes. That's so cool. <laughs> Awesome. Some, we need to do some inverted flight now. I'll try and come around for some inverted flight. Look at that inverted oh, flight. Oh my god. <laughs> do it one more time. Oh, that's oh. scary. That's scary. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, this time coming for the approach. Okay. Oh, you're a bit quick. Bit quick, bit high. <laughs> We're going to go missed approach there. We're gonna go missed Go approach. Around. Going around. Oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Yeah, he's still a bit high. Still a bit high, a bit fast. Oh, I'm bringing too much throttle here. Very much a beginner on RC planes, I'll tell you that for free. As you guys can probably tell. All right. It's tricky because of those lampposts and we've got all these lights. And it's hard to know if I'm behind oh. them or in front of them. Okay, just over shot, just a little bit. Yeah, you're still a bit quick. <laughs> uh, cut the throttle there this time. Coming in at zero throttle. Still coming in pretty quick there. <laughs> oh, still too quick, still too quick. Oh, this is getting tricky now. Okay, here we go, coming in for landing now. Just a little bit of power on there. Maintain that rudder authority. Oh, 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 oh. a little bit fast. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Awesome. Oh, look at that! It lands on the grass beautifully! <laughs> we still got two more batteries! Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can tell from the video, we absolutely love, well, I absolutely love flying this. Amber absolutely loved watching it fly in the sky, and I can tell you right off the bat that this plane is a super easy RC plane to fly, and it's perfect if it's your first RC or your first Warbird. Now, we still recommend that you practice on a flight simulator first, like real flight, like this is what Amber's doing right now, or get yourself one of those little Sheen Warbirds. We've got the P51, we made a video on that already, and it's, and it's in a tree. Had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault, it's no. a whip, blame it on the wind. It was my fault, I put, you in a, I put you in a bad environment for your first ever flight. But Amber has taken out the smaller version of this T28 for a maiden flight, and it was an Getting awesome crashed. flight. She did very well, that video will be coming very soon. So don't, to all not miss it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But my initial thoughts on this plane is that it flies well, very easy to fly, and safe with the safe enabled, it's, it's very, very easy to fly. When, it, when it's disabled, the heart gets pumping a bit, but it still flies smoothly, and the aerobatics were quite easy as well on 3S. Can't wait to get the 4S life and battery installed in this plane. You saw the takes on landings on both pavement and on grass work perfectly fine. Just make sure you're putting um, back pressure to keep the weight off the nose wheel, especially on the grass, because you don't want to get that prop that prop strike, which has happened to me in the past with other RC planes. Um, but overall, love this plane. We've ran, well, I've ran 10 batteries through it so far, had no issues whatsoever, and oh, I'm probably gonna run a few more packs through it today. And as always, guys, this plane will be linked in the description box down below if you are interested. And if you don't wanna miss out when I take that little plane from my maiden flight, and Joe's gonna take out a new jet that has arrived, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. And can I just say that that jet, that F-18, it looks insane. It's a 17 millimeter EDF jet. Never flown a jet, an RC jet in my life. Joy. I'm <laughs> super excited, I'm super nervous. This thing can go over 100 miles per hour, apparently. We'll test that out. I ain't flying it. <laughs> I'm gonna, hopefully I don't kill either of us. If I don't kill anyone in the vicinity, we'll be making sure we go out to a nice big open area. That is going to be an epic video. You don't want to miss that one. And we're going to have onboard footage from the jet. That's just going to look epic. Come on, you've got to subscribe for that one. Make sure you go check out theRCQs.com. You just have a cap, you just have a top, you just have a hoodie. We're the RCQs, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.